Hello everybody, welcome back to CNS Corvettes in Sarasota, Florida. This is your Corvette buddy Lyle, here with more interesting and exciting Corvette tips and information. Before we get started, if you'll please take a minute to like, subscribe, share, do all the things here under the video to help me out, that way I can continue to help you out. Today we're going to talk about something that I've been talking to a lot of people about recently. Uh, being the end of the Corvette season up north, a lot of guys are getting ready to do some heavy duty maintenance over the winter months now that they've put their Corvettes away. But this applies to everybody who does anything maintenance wise on their Corvette. Specifically, if you are going to be tackling replacing the clutch or rebuilding the torque tube on your C5, your C6, or your C7, okay? Um, a lot of people choose to do that over the winter because it is time consuming and they don't want to miss summertime driving for their limited window of fun that they have. There are a couple of things that we always, always, always do whenever we do a clutch or a torque tube rebuild in a C5, 6, or 7. And I want to share those pieces with you. One of them you're familiar with because I've talked about it before. Another one you may not be familiar with, but it is the number one thing you can do while all that is apart that will make your life and living with a stick shift car so much easier once it's done. Item number one, you guys remember this, right? Rear main seal plate. If you're gonna be doing your clutch or your torque tube, you, this is, you're gonna be staring at this on the back of your engine. This is the time to replace this piece. I keep them on my website. I always have them for sale on my website. It's the improved version with the better radius protection so they don't leak through the aluminum housing like the originals did. You definitely want to do this. You're probably only ever going to have to do it once in the life of the car. So when you go in there, replace this piece and you won't have to deal with it again. That one you know about. The other one, and we install this on every car that we do, this guy. Now, like, wow, that looks like a really big, long braided line because that's precisely what it is. This is what you call a remote bleeder for your clutch slave cylinder. Now, I don't know if you're aware of this, but when you take that torque tube apart, the very leading edge of the torque tube where the shaft goes through the clutch and then goes into the back of the motor, that's where your slave cylinder lives. It's actually integral in that enclosed area. It is not serviceable, touchable, or bleedable once everything is put together. Uh, I kind of touched on this uh, in uh, C5, C6 video, the five things we hate most about the way they design those cars. This is one of them, is that there's no way to bleed the clutch system fully when the car is assembled. Well, if you're in there and you're doing the clutch or you're doing the torque tube and you install one of these guys, this end hooks up to your slave cylinder and you put your torque tube and everything back together and then this runs up right next to your little uh, clutch fluid reservoir. So you have a bleeder all the time. Anytime you want to bleed your clutch, especially if you do any kind of performance driving, autocross, track work, anything like that, this is the answer because you don't have to disassemble anything. You can bleed it as many times as you want. And once it's installed, it never goes bad. It's there forever. So I'm going to have these on my website, CorvettePartsCenter.com. I'll have a link below. Uh, these guys go for $69, $69 shipped to you, and it's a fire and forget. Once it's in, it is a benefit to you for the rest of the time you own and drive that car, especially if you do any performance driving. It solves so many problems, potential problems, real problems, without having to disassemble the car again. Okay, so if you're doing those jobs, do the rear main seal plate, and please, C5, 6, and 7 guys, put one of these in your car. You won't regret it. You'll thank me later when it comes time to bleed the clutch. If you have any questions about either of these items, feel free to put it in the comments below and I'll get to you as quick as I can. But these are pretty straightforward items, uh, things that just make your life a lot easier. You know, the old car axiom of, well, while you're in there, let me tell you, these two things, while you're in there, do this. That's pretty much it for today. Thank you so much, guys. We'll talk to you soon.